don't forget to subscribe subscribe join the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when we upload a new video hello everybody and welcome back to this journey called life it's been a while since i posted and i have been going through a lot of things personally emotionally physically um but now i want to talk about a subject all right so you saw from the title you know what it's already about we're gonna get into it right now the ugly truth about miscarriage let me explain something um i hate when i see people like you tell them you go through a tragedy in your life like this is what just happened to me and they go join the club or try to make it seem like whatever you're going is typical for everyone and that's not the case people deal with loss or pain differently people deal with life differently and one thing we need to realize on this journey is everybody is going to deal with things in a different way and not only that they're going to react respond in different ways my husband and i you know on this journey we have had um the opportunity to be so blessed i have two children from my first marriage and divorce and i have one daughter with my husband but he we desired to have a son together and um one thing about my husband he's a very uh positive person but in this particular situation he was still positive i was the one that was like battling with the emotions of not wanting to deal with the fact that um the first week i went to the doctor and i had started to have like some bleeding to be keep it clean but the first thing i went to the doctor and they told me i was having a miscarriage and i was just like what it was devastating they told me to come back in two days which i did and when i went back to the doctor two days later um they gave me um did it blood work and we're like oh well maybe we weren't right because your hcg levels are increasing and they've doubled since the last time you were here so then of course you get that feeling of relief like whoo god i thank you because it was possibly a mistake um about four days later i went to the doctor for a normal checkup um and it was still on a positive note things were doubling it was getting better it was like a like a, like a sigh of relief there was like no more you know frustration in my heart feeling like why does this have to be happening to me even though i know god is no respect to person and i'm no different from someone else but i still wondered like why did i have to be going through this this is all we wanted in our heart's desire we were just trying to you know we want more things in life but it was something that we wanted if that makes sense but anyway that friday i went and they did my blood work and they said my hcg levels were going still doubling we were looking good but then monday um <laughs> no 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 the following wednesday that's what it was they give me a call and they're like you know we looked at your lab work again <laughs> and it's like we might need to talk to you about something can you come in right now and do another blood test i'm just like yeah so i go there on my lunch break and quickly making the rounds whatever they do the blood work and they said they're gonna rush it back stat so that i can get the results of what they're thinking um but i'm like what is it what is it what is it so the doctor comes and she said well the thing was everything was doubling like it should have but then we looked and we noticed that the progesterone levels were still very low which typically is either like a topic meaning that it's not planted in the right place or something's wrong because your body's not building progesterone to thicken their uterine lining to say that the baby's gonna grow and, and live here so we want to just test your blood work to see if there's an if it's an abnormal pregnancy and you know we'll let you know i'm like okay they do that and the next morning I get a call. It was a regular call. Oh, just call in for your results, please. And I'm just like, okay, cool. So we did phone tag for a day and a half. Whew. Because I'm, you know, I work a lot. And, you know, these people at the office, they're already busy. So it was just interesting. So finally I get the lady on the phone. Okay, sorry. I get the lady on the phone. It's uh, 97 degrees out here, so. And uh, anyway, I get the lady on the phone and... It was painful like first she was like you know 
we're going to redo your lab work in about another week and a half. I'm like, okay. And she was like, I was like, well, what are the results? Go ahead and tell me. And she was like, oh, your HCG levels dropped all the way down. You had a miscarriage. <laughs> just like that. And I'm just like, wow. So I feel like God graced me for it because the week before when they told me I had a miscarriage, I went through the emotional part of it and I hurt from it. And I, I was just praying and asking God and I was feeling all types of feelings and emotions behind it. But then I realized um, two things. Number one, if it was an abnormal pregnancy, I would have, in my heart, had God or just uh, I'm thankful that it ended the way it did and opposed to having a full-term pregnancy and having a stillborn child, number one. Number two, I see all of my friends um, that have suffered some losses in their lives and there's nothing like um, losing a baby once you have had a heartbeat and experienced those things. So I feel like God graced me for that because yes, it was still early. Yes, I knew that I was pregnant. Yes, I... Um, had all of those other things, but it wasn't a baby that I was able to tangibly touch and hold and love and then lose. Um, all right. Whew. <laughs> Ooh. So then, uh, with the whole miscarriage thing, like I had really, this is the worst part. Like I work, you know, I, I'm a teacher. So in the midst of this pain, I wasn't able to take the time off because we were in testing. It was a mess, but they need to do bereavement for people who are like, losing a baby. They don't look at it as like that, but if they did, that would change the game because having to go back to work like that on a regular basis, I love my students, but it was like, you know how your kids are always already, you know, <laughs> rambunctious. It was, it was like, whoo, whoo, whoo. Ooh, get me through this, get me through this. Now, I survived it, but it was very challenging and it was an, a very emotional experience. And it doesn't help that once you're pregnant, you're already emotional anyway. But that is basically the gist of the ugly truth with miscarriage. I feel like people don't realize it's still a loss. It's still, and then your body has to go through all the changes to build for the baby and then to come back from not having it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's not a great I don't think anybody would ever come out feeling like, oh, yay, you know. I don't think that's really, like, really rested in the back of my mind. Is I'm always thankful to God because he has blessed me, you know. And when I look at my three beautiful children, I'm blessed because I, I know it could be worse. I know there are people out there who want to have kids and cannot. So I would never be the type of person to uh, take for granted what I've been blessed with. Um, and even though this was a tragic experience for me, um, I have to thank God every day because it could have been way worse and ooh, there's a point in your life well in my life where you have to see that even yeah I've been out of commission I need to get my nails done but even your trials and tribulations are all also a part of sometimes if you think about it I posted on my other channel, you know, get, getting to a point where you realize that it's purpose in your pain or purpose for your pain is next level thinking because it's not necessarily what I go through in this life, but it's what I go through and what I'm able to endure, what I'm able to live through and be able to thank God through because God also, to me, he protects me from things. And sometimes he protects me from the pain I would have to experience, you know, had I delivered a stillborn child, you know, he protected me in that instance, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that is the love of God that's always keeping me when I don't know how to rock myself. That's always keeping me when I don't understand what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's God working in full manifestation. So I'm so thankful to him, even in the midst of a painful moment. So anybody who's ever dealt with miscarriage or had to deal with that type of pain, please know that I'm praying for you. I'm definitely praying for you. I'm praying for your strength. I'm praying for you to be able to live through it because this journey will be filled with ups and downs. But don't forget to love God, love life, and enjoy the journey.